Hi Queens, Miss PK's and Miss PK's Crochet Braids located here in McDonough, Georgia. And as you guys see, I still have this install in. It's been in the Butterfly, um, Butterfly Passion Locks and it's been in for about three, three and a half weeks. So, and I'm loving this hair. I absolutely do not want to take it down, but I have to so I can bring you guys the next new hair reveal, which is going to be next Friday. And I am super excited about that. But you guys, I am going to miss this hair. I absolutely have enjoyed this hair and have gotten tons of compliments on this hair. So, and it's easy. And guess what, you guys? I only probably sprayed this hair twice. Do, 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 twice. Can you believe it? Yes. Which I had that, that, um, that effect that goes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how to do it yet. But I'm going to learn how to do all that. But yeah, if I if I have my choice, this is one of these hairs that I will wear um, a little while longer. But anyways, queens, we are going to learn today. I'm going to show you some of my um, hook techniques that I use for crochet braiding. I'm also going to show you the cornrow pattern that goes along with that hair installation. And I'm also going to show you how to do your spacing. Queens, proper spacing is so important. You do not have to fill up the whole head of the cornrows and have hair on every single inch of the hair. You do not have to do that because guess what? This hair up here covers a lot of this hair in the back. So I'm going to show you my secret tip on how to do your spacing. So you guys watch the video and please watch it to the end because I am giving you guys some good tips on how to properly crochet braid. Please comment and I will respond. So you guys be blessed and take care. Okay, Queens. This is the cornrow pattern that we use for this client, which is the beehive cornrow pattern. We braid it down at least 10 to 12 cornrows in the front of her head. What you want to do is take your crochet braid hook and you want to insert it underneath your cornrow, as you'll soon see. You'll insert it underneath the cornrow hook the hair, then you wanna pull it through the smallest part of the tip and then go ahead and push that up underneath that corn roll. And by doing this, it will allow the hair to lay flat. Do your downward motion. In this particular corn roll pattern, you want to do your downward motion for the faux lock hair. Gingerly pull it through. Sometimes it does get caught, but you can just gingerly pull it through and then go ahead and push that knot up to the corn roll. You want to continue this process all the way around the perimeter of the head. And you also want to do this same downward technique on the top of the head in the front, ensuring that all of that corn roll is being covered. Okay, Queens. You see there is a gap right there. Go ahead and fill in the gap because you want to have this whole corn roll around the per perimeter of the head covered. You want to make sure that it is covered completely. And the reason why is because when she pulls it up to put it in the ponytail, it'll look nice and clean. Now here is where sometimes a stylist will do too much. Like I said before, you don't have to put hair 
on every single corn roll. What you want to do is space it. You want to space it about a half an inch in between each faux lock. So here, as you can see, there's about a half an inch of spacing there. And this allows the hair to lay flat and not to be so bulky and big. Okay, queens, so now you see the space. What you want to do right there with that, I put my hook, you want to put a faux lock braid there and there, and that's going to cover the braid underneath it where the gap was. So you're filling in that gap. And as you can see, when I bring that down, you see how that braid, it covers the bottom. So the top one will cover the bottom one and fill in that half an inch space that was left. And again, just take your time while you're threading the hair through the loop and making your knot. As you see, there's coverage, so you can't see anything. So once you do that, at the top where I'm showing you, you fill in all of that corn roll space, just like your perimeter, perimeter bottom, you wanna fill that top in the same way. And that way, that hair will fall and cover. This is the Coily Ends Senegal Twist. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, queens, this is our forever beloved Butterfly Passion Faux Locks. And this is the one that I did a review on, so go ahead and check out that video. I am loving this color. It is a T27, which reads as a 427, which is a brown and a blonde. This client wanted a middle part and we gave her the middle part, but I wanted to say that if your hair is thin, your part will be gappy. There will be spaces there. So the thinner your hair, the most more space you'll have. And you may have to resort in putting a small piece of net up there um, in order to close it or cover it. But she looks beautiful. Okay, Queen, this client has individual box braids in the front and a beehive in the middle, and then she has cornrows going up the back. I love to put on oil when I am doing my preparation for my installation. So this is essential oils and a carrier oil that I use, and I love to saturate the scalp with the oil before I begin my installation. This client has pre-stretched crochet braid hair that is loopless, so there is no loop, so you have to make your loop. And as you can see, I am just taking, it's almost like yarn, but super thin. So I'm just taking the yarn and just feeding it through the individual box braid and making my own knot. So I'm just simply taking it through the box braid feeding it through, making my own loop, and then I am simply knotting the loop. Now this press process uh, was very time consuming because um, it was a lot of hair that was used and the hair that was shown, we didn't use all of that hair. I just wanted you guys to see what the hair looks like before installation. But it takes a little bit of time to put this in but queens i'm telling you once we got done she was so elated with her installation gorgeous mm -hmm. 